Hi friends, Tina did it here and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited about today's DIY. I love the way it turned out so I had to share with you. I made this floating seashells, floating pearls vase and I'm using it in a centerpiece. So if you want to see how I made this using all Dollar Tree items, just keep on watching. But before I get started, I would like to remind all of you to join my Facebook group. Just search Tina did it with the pink hearts. I mean, I have a page, but the group is where you want to be. Uh, you have to join and that's where you can share recreations. You could share your own crafts. I would love to see what you guys are working on. You're all so talented. So it's definitely a great place to share your crafts with us. And it's a great place to keep in touch. We're all so friendly and we treat each other like family. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's tina.did.it, just like you see her on the screen. There, I post my creations. I post uh, Dollar Tree finds sometimes. So definitely make sure to follow me there. And best part is, you can message me anytime. You know, I'd love to hear from you. So that way, you're not just a subscriber. You're also my friend. Now, let's get started. So first, I picked up a bag of these Orbeez from Dollar Tree. I believe this one was by like the air freshener aisle. It's supposed to give off a good smell. I'll show you how the bag looks like in a minute, but I did purchase only one bag, but I did let it soak overnight and the Orbeez or the beads doubled in size. So here I'm just using a strainer because what we're going to do is we're going to split it in separate cups, clear and blue. So we went ahead and did that. And here is the bag I was telling you guys about. But now you see um, when I try to put the clear ones back in there, basically they doubled in size, like I said. So you do want to leave this overnight. I just used one bag for this project and it fit one full vase perfectly so like i said we're going to split them up so here's the blue in one cup and the clear is in the bag and in the other cup now i'm going to take my vase that i also picked up from dollar tree sorry there are so many hands over there <laughs> my niece and my daughter they're so excited about this project but basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to work in layers and then when we're done with the entire thing i'm just going to glue it on this pillar that i picked up from dollar tree as well here is the barcode just in case you'd like to order it from online. Before I forget to mention, if you like videos that are straight on point and cute and simple projects like this one, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified every time I upload a video. Now I'm just going to set my pillar aside and I'm going to work with my vase. Remember, I'm going to work in layers, so I'm just going to place some clear ones and then um, Put some pearls and seashells in or whatever you'd like to put and then we're going to add a little bit of blue i did try putting the entire bag just in the vase but there was just too much blue and i didn't really like that so that's why i took everything back out and redo <laughs> so notice i put some seashells and pearls and then i'm now i'm going to go in with the clear orbies again and basically layer it all up but be careful when you're putting it in first i was throwing them in then i realized my pearls were moving around a little bit so after that i decided to just grab the orbies with my hand and slowly place them down in the vase Notice I am putting some blue Orbeez in there, but it's not overwhelming. So I do put a few in there with the pearls and the seashells. Oh, just a quick reminder. If you do have little ones, make sure to place this somewhere a little bit high. Um, because of course, if this tips over, it will make a huge mess. Unless you don't mind having Orbeez all over your floor. Yes, keep it away. <laughs> Now I'm just going to finish up my vase and then I'm going to throw water in. When we add water, the Orbeez will basically disappear, <laughs> the clear Orbeez. So that's what makes the pearls and seashells look like they're floating. Just be sure to put the water in slowly. And if it does bubble up a little bit, don't worry, those bubbles will go away. And now I'm just going to add all my blue Orbeez up on top. I just like the blue look it gives when it's on top, not too much in there. Do you know what I mean? So that's why I just put the rest of the Orbeez up on top. And my daughter is over here helping me. I told you they were excited about this one. <laughs> 
just a quick reminder, if little ones do help you, be sure they wash their hands afterwards. Now that we're done doing that, I'm just going to add a little bit more water and I'm going to basically glue this onto my pillar. So here is how it looks. I feel like I added too many pearls, but overall I like the way it looks. And the nice fresh smell that it gives off. And now I'm going to take my pillar and I'm going to decorate it. I'm going to use this net. I think this one was from Easter time. It had, I think, Easter eggs or maybe chocolate. I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, I did keep the net. But you can use any fish nets or any, you can find these with fruits sometimes. But basically I'm going to just hot glue this to the pillar. And I'm going to add seashells and pearls to the net as well. Be sure though, if you're applying hot glue like I am here um, up on top of the pillar, make sure it is flat and not too bumpy because that's where, go where we're going to add our E6000 later and have our vase standing on the pillar there. So you don't want it too bumpy, that way it's nice and flat and seals and glues properly. Now I'm just going to add some twine and a seashell in the middle of the pillar the, at the center and now I'm just going to add E6000 and hot glue, a little bit of both and I'm just going to place my vase up on top. You don't need to add weights to this of course because there's water in there, it has its own weight and notice there are no bubbles up on top. I told you the bubbles would go away <laughs> but let me know what you think down in the comments. I love the way it turned out. The little garland that's around it, those are made out of ping pong balls. If you missed out on that video, I'll put it down in the description. And yeah, I like how this tray slash centerpiece looks. It's just a Dollar Tree mirror with a seashell, a candle, and the garland that I made previously. But I love the way the vase turned out. I do think I put a little bit too many pearls in there, but I love it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. You know I'd love to hear from you. So be sure to stop by the comments and let me know what you think. You could also add handles to the mirror down there, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to have it standing like that. And here I have a flashlight pointing directly to the vase. So if there's a way we can add lights, if you can give me an idea on how to add lights in this, um, yeah, definitely let me know because I think it looks great with lights pointing to it. But if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun DIYs and make sure to share with your friends. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Thank you.